welcome cartoonists. I don't mean to get too deep or anything, but we're doing a bit of scuba diving underwater in the deep. So get your pencil sharpened and let's have a little go at this. Starting off around about here on your page, upper sort of right, we're in a straight line and underneath it a W, but you'll notice it's faster at one side than the other. And just showing a little bit of perspective on that diver's mask, that's what it is. There's the nose of the diver. There is where the uh, sort of the band of the mask goes around the head. See that W there, it's wider at one side than the other. Under the nose, it looks like the mouth is open, it isn't. This is the little mouthpiece, the air intake that a diver holds in the mouth. I don't know if you've ever tried diving before, but that is like where the oxygen tank is attached to a hose and there's a mouthpiece in the mouth of the diver. So just work with me on this one, we're going to work our way through this cartoon. The face is quite simple, you just join the mask up to that mouthpiece in whichever way you can and that's just the shape of the face. Now you can make it long hair, short hair, whichever you want. It's going to be drifting up if it's long hair, but for now that's the ear. And there, just medium length hair, it can be a boy, it can be a girl, it's up, that, that bit's up to you, but just hair drifting up. This is the neck, quite long. There's a reason for that because we can have the uh, the tank on the back and we want to make a little bit of room for it. So quite a long neck and that's the colour of the wetsuit that you see there. Okay, if I'm moving too quick for you, just pause it and catch up. This is the shoulder of the diver. And the shoulder of the diver just has a line underneath and that's the bottom of the sleeve. So that's the, just the shoulder of the... Uh, of the diver. So a couple of lines coming down quite short, that's the upper arm. And there's the elbow, we're working our way down the arm now, there's the forearm. Now divers always wear a watch to show what depth they are and see what the time is, make sure they're not diving for too long. So I'll just put a great big circle on there, that'll do for the watch. Making our way around this cartoon without too much complication, if possible. There is the chest of the diver. And the upper body, and that is the strap which holds the tank on the diver's back. So two little shoulder straps there. We're going to carry the shape of that body along. It disappears behind the arm and comes out there. Okay, not too long. And then we have a belt, and that's like a belt with weights. So the diver doesn't keep bobbing up to the top. It weighs the diver down a little bit. And those lines are just, just shows where the weights on the belt are. That's the upper leg. And it's a shorty wetsuit, so we stop it about there. And we're just working our way along bit by bit. There's the other leg. We can't see much of it because the front leg is in the way. And I keep going back from legs to arms, but just work with me on it. Now that is just a simple finger shape. That was just a hand, like a side view of a hand, and that's the thumb just sticking up there just gives you an idea of a hand. So that's the shoulder on the other side. Don't see much of it again. There's the upper arm. We'll pop the elbow in there. And this, this arm is uh, going forward a little bit like it's in a swimming motion. That is a thumb, it's like a long U shape. That's like a long finger shape. 
and just behind it just a couple of little lines to show the other fingers we're not spending too much de detail on there now there's the upper leg and the knee and that's the lower part of the calf put a little curve on there if you can and we're working our way along this diver's body So there's the knee again, upper leg. Again, we're not seeing all of it because the other leg's in the way. And I'm just doing this quite straight going down. So it looks like the diver's paddling along with its uh, fins that I'm going to put on the end now. I'll start with a U shape. And we can work the fin up from there. Slightly bending out those lines of the fin. Now a good way of, of sorting out the uh, the end of the fin is just put a little dot higher up and around about the middle of those two lines. And then you've got somewhere to work from. Look, I'm just doing a little curved line. And that is like a cartoon fin. With a little line going down. And you can have fun colouring this different angle on this fin so it's like a little end shape there a sweeping curve top and bottom but again watch this little dot high and in the middle and working from there to the ends of that fin there you go and a line down the middle again Now really looking like a diver now, I think so anyway. I hope yours is looking something like. Now this is the tank on the back, like the air tank. So if you do a line higher up and you just curve either way, there you've got a tank on the diver's back. And that's a nice thing to put on right at the end. So the shoulders sort of in the foreground and you're getting a good perspective of everything. There's some, like where the, uh, the tanks attached to the diver's body or belt. That's just a little detail for the top of the tank. And that's the air hose, the air line. You just do that black, so we're not, it's not too complicated doing a double line. Any details you want to add, like a little stripe, that's like a 60s style wetsuit. You can put along the side of the leg there maybe. And you can just go mad with the bubbles. Do as many as you want. It's just an O shape. That's all it is. As many as you want. Different sizes. Little O shapes here. There. And everywhere. Just put as many as you like. And I'm just doing a craggy seabed. Could be rocks. And sand. Just dive really deep to get down to see all the different sea creatures. I'm tagging on the end some other YouTube videos I've made in case you've missed them of how to draw fish and sharks and crabs and various sea creatures. Because once you've drawn the diver, then I'm kind of rushing along with these fish. Just concentrate on the diver for now because you can go back and have a look at the other YouTube videos I've made of sea creatures because I love drawing sea creatures for some reason. I don't know why I love drawing them so much. But I do. So you can look back on what I've drawn before. And I've left the little, little uh, covers on the end so you can see what you're looking for when you go on the YouTube. So before you, maybe you draw some of these uh, creatures just leave it at the diver and go back and have a look and see what you can add. Here's a shark. I did a workshop on how to draw a shark. Adds a little bit of danger to the cartoon. You feel like saying, look out, look out, there's a shark. But you know, if you're underwater, it'd just be, if you shouted, look out, there's a shark while you're underwater, it'd just be a lot of, <laughs> nobody would be able to tell what you were saying anyway. But there it is, a shark. And if you want to know how to draw a shark, just look on the end of this little video and you'll know what to look for. And you can do it step by step. Just leave a little space by that diver and go back to another workshop 
and you can build up your cartoon. How about that? Same with the fish. So I'm just doing some shading now. If you've got coloured pens, pencils or whatever, you know by now if you've watched my workshops that I just do it in pencil because I like to use your imagination with the colours, using your favourite colours. I don't like to tell you what colours to use, that's down to you. But always add a little bit of shading to give you that 3D effect. All you need is a little bit, even a line on the bottom of those bubbles. You can do the fins one colour, maybe to match the stripe of the wetsuit, whatever colour wetsuit you like. Just use your favourite colours. But in the in the things that are in the background, like that back leg there, and that arm that's in the background, add a little bit more shade because it pushes them further into the background. Again, giving you that 3D, I like to give it a little bit more interest in the cartoon. But the shark's mouth is always red, remember that. There's no diverting from that. I don't want any pinks or purples. The shark's mouth is red. That is the rules. So a little bit of shade under the fish's uh, body. Behind the eye maybe. You can just have a play with that. Shading's a really fun bit. I'm putting a little crab here. I have done a workshop and a real easy way to draw a crab. And you can have a look on that. Just look at the end of the video and I'll tell you what to look for. I usually do my crabs a pink colour. Right, I'm signing it now. That is it. That means I am the superstar cartoonist and you have got to be the same. You're the superstar cartoonist as well. So if you've, you've gone to the trouble of drawing this artwork, don't let anybody think it's anybody else's artwork. Here's some seaweed and coral there, just floating around. So there we go. I look forward to seeing how you went on with that little challenge. Like I say, very deep and meaningful. I hope you enjoyed it. Put some different sea creatures. Look out for this one if you want to draw a fish. Look out for this one for some of these strange little creatures. And the crab's really easy to draw on that one, so have a look on that. And if you want to get dangerous, maybe forget about the chicken. No, come on. Stick the chicken in there as well. So give us a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to draw. And we're working together on this. This is our lockdown, extended lockdown, whatever cartoon workshop.